All the world just stopped now So you say you don't wanna Stay together anymore Let me take a deep breath, babe If you need me, me and Neil will be Hanging out with the Dream King Neil said hi, by the way I don't believe you're leaving Cause me and Charles Manson like the same ice cream I think it's that girl and I think there are pieces of me you've never seen Maybe she's just pieces of me you've never seen Well... Hopefully she is pieces of you he's never seen, woman. He's seen about all the pieces of you he can take. Your pieces of hair clogging up the bathtub and sink. The tiny pieces of toast you leave in the butter. The pieces of paper with your naggy notes, L-U-V-X-X-O-X. -X -X. The pieces of cake you eat after you've already pigged out at dinner. That piece in the toilet that you forgot to flush. The one with the smoke coming off of it. Quit begging for his love. Men simply don't want to find out certain things about their women. And he's just gotten to that point with you. He's ready to move on and find someone who's not so Humpty Dumpty, so let him. Like you haven't heard that Charles Manson excuse a hundred times. Now, this may seem like a comedy routine, but I'm actually just being brutally serious under a mask of sarcasm. If you are finding yourself very insecure and needy in relationships, and you're the one who keeps getting dumped or feeling powerless, or you just simply cannot attract the right person. Perhaps you need this book that I read, The Rules, Time-Tested Secrets for Capturing the Heart of Mr. Right. And maybe you overly sensitive and emotional guys, gay men and lesbians out there could also take the gist of this advice seriously. Reading this could put an end to you being a garbage disposal and bring you a marriage proposal. This book has one major prescription, play hard to get. Men like women who are totally carefree and nonchalant. Nobody likes to be pursued too much. The more you pretend you are not in love, the more genuinely in love with you he will be. Here are some do and don't quotes from the book. Treat the man you want to be with like the man you're not that interested in. Don't talk to a man first or ask him to dance. Don't stare at men or talk too much. Be quiet and mysterious. Act ladylike, cross your legs, and smile. Don't tell sarcastic jokes or be a loud, knee-slapping, <laughs> hysterically funny girl. Don't tell long-winded stories. Definitely don't sound depressed. On the contrary, act as if you were born happy. Wear black sheer pantyhose and hike up your skirt. You may feel that you won't be able to be yourself, but men will love it. When you're out in the town trying to pick up, <clears throat> chances are someone will start to talk to you at some point in the evening. If and when he does, and you're not having a great time, don't show it. For example, don't be clever and cynical and say something like, oh, I would have been better off at home watching Seinfeld. Men aren't interested in women who are witty. If you find all of this too hard to do, then don't go. Stay home, do sit-ups, watch Seinfeld, or loser's advocate, and reread the rules. Oh yeah, and just a few more highly recommended things from this book. When your hair falls in front of your face, you tilt your head back and comb back your hair from the top of your head with your hand in a slow, sweeping motion. When you're walking down the street, drop his hand 
first. And finally, you don't go to pieces when a relationship doesn't work out. Instead, you go get a manicure and go out on another date. Lining up a few dates is the best revenge. You wipe away a tear so that it doesn't smudge your makeup and you move on. The moment that I step outside So many reasons for me to run and hide I can't do the little things I hold so deep Cause it's all those little things that I fear Oh, I'm just a girl living in captivity Your rule of thumb makes me worrisome Oh, I'm just a girl What's my destiny? What I've succumbed to is making me numb Oh, I'm just a girl My apology What I've become is so burdensome Oh, I'm just a girl Lucky me, Tweedledum, there's no comparison. Oh, I've had it up to 